Hey, this is Barry with Exact Tone Solutions. Uh, we're here in the Nashville Custom Shop. Going to walk you through sort of the before picture of a uh, client's board build. Uh, the client's picked out uh, all the pieces uh, that he needs to, to do the work uh, in studio and stage uh, that he needs to do. So we're going to step you through these pieces and uh, let you know uh, what we're going to do to them to, to make them work well. So as far as signal flows goes, uh, this rig is going to start with this uh, Line 6 M5. This has been modified by Jack Vaughn at JHV3, so it has uh, uh, upgraded uh, Sonics and uh, upgraded uh, switches as well. We're actually going to use the expression port uh, on this M5 to be able to do uh, wah and uh, sweepable filter effects and change delay times and, and all that, and we're going to use this Dunlop uh, volume X to be able uh, to do that. So as you can imagine as you work this treadle the expression is going to change and that works perfect for us but at the same time the uh, the volume is going to change as well. So to make this work in this rig uh, we're going to use this uh, Keeley one loop uh, loop switcher to be able to essentially bypass the volume pedal uh, so that you can work that treadle and on a per patch basis in the M5, you can use it to express uh, those, uh, those M5 uh, effects. So after the uh, M5, we're going to go to uh, the Winford Drive, which is uh, one of our newest uh, drive pedals. Um, after that, we're going to step to uh, this uh, Big Joe uh, Vintage 2. This is a new pedal for them in their raw series. This runs off uh, 9 or uh, 18 volts. Uh, we're going to go to this EQ uh, GE7. We're going to modify this for the client uh, to reduce uh, the uh, output noise level. Uh, we also do a mod uh, that will shift all these frequency bands into sort of the guitar mid-range, uh, but this client doesn't need that, so we're just going to reduce the, the noise on this one. Uh, next up is the uh, TC Electronic Hall of Fame. Uh, great reverb, uh, very programmable with the, uh, with the tone print. Uh, option, uh, Keeley modified, TR2 tremolo, you've got independent control of uh, output volume uh, there, and uh, we've got the Superpus uh, from Way Huge uh, doing delay. And the way we're actually going to run that is uh, EQ, delay, verb, and trim. Uh, all this stuff is going to be powered by this Big Joe power box. Uh, we've got switches there for changes in 9 uh, or 12 volt outputs, 9 or 18 volt outputs. We can do the uh, variable uh, outputs there as well. Uh, this this device is not going to have any trouble uh, powering all the stuff that we have on this board. The whole thing is set up on a uh, pedal train PT1. Uh, this is a vintage PT1, uh, which is why we can't put the power supply uh, on the under, underneath. Uh, but uh, for this rig, we don't need it and uh, there's no need to toss this frame because it'll do a great job. Uh, the one thing that we are going to do to it uh, after we pull all the velcro and everything off is we're going to attach a, a quarter inch uh, piece of uh, ply uh, with black laminate on it that's going to let us put uh, these pedals just where we want them. Uh, we'll dual lock everything down so it's uh, uh, nice and solid uh, for the road or for being carted uh, around. So this is a small board, um, but it's going to be big uh, in function and uh, should see many, many years of uh, use on lots and lots of songs. So that's uh, kind of what we do here uh, in our Nashville Custom Shop. Uh, you can check out our website uh, for more information on those uh, sort of things. Give us a buzz. Let us know what kind of gear you're looking to use, and uh, we'll let you know what we can do to help you. Talk to you guys later.